The big dollar came under pressure yesterday and is finding it difficult to gain much traction this morning as investors taking profit on U.S. assets outweighs concerns about Italy, Brexit and a Sino-U.S. trade war. Furthermore, twin U.S. deficits and prospects of a halt in Fed's rate hike cycle are also weighing on the dollar. Elsewhere, it has been mixed picture across regional stock markets overnight as investors await the next wave of corporate earnings and further developments across the aforementioned geopolitical issues. Note, any hint of a slowdown or stronger growth could affect the pace of Fed's rate hikes. Oil prices continue to fluctuate within striking distance of recent highs amid tensions between Saudi Arabia and the U.S. over the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi, a prominent journalist with U.S. citizenship, while the precious yellow metal holds its gains. On tap, FOMC minutes are due Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, with investors focused on projections for further interest rate rises. 1. Stocks mixed results in Japan, the Nikkei rebounded overnight, supported by short covering in index heavyweights, automakers and soft bank, but retailers came under pressure on worries about domestic personal consumption and slowing demand from China. The Nikkei share average closed 1.3% higher, after tumbling minus 1.8% yesterday. The broader topics rallied 0.7%. Down under, Aussie shares rebounded overnight, as mining and financials bounced back from Monday's minus 1% drop and six-month low, but rising tensions between Saudi Arabia and the West and weaker PPI data in China capped broader market gains. Yes. In China, stocks ended lower overnight, after data showed factory gate inflation had cooled for a third consecutive month in September amid lean domestic demand. The blue-chip CSI 300 index ended minus 0.8% weaker, while the Shanghai Composite Index also closed minus 0.8% lower. In Hong Kong, the Hang Seng was up 0.1%. Note, Chinese inflation was boosted by food while prices were mostly subdued elsewhere. China sept CPI Y, Y came in as expected at 2.5% versus 2.5% E, a 7-month high, PPI Y, Y was 3.6% versus 3.5% E. In Europe, regional bourses trade mostly higher across the board with the Italian FTSE MIB outperforming following the submission of its draft budget to the EC, while the UK's FTSE underperforms on Brexit uncertainty. U.S. stocks are set to open in the black 0.3%. Indices, stock 600 0.4% at 361, FTSE minus 0.2% at 7,012, DAX 0.2% at 11,638, CAC 40.1% at 5,099, IBEX 35 0.9% at 9,004, FTSE MIB 1.1% at 19,500, SMI 0.3% at 8,678, S. 2. Oil dips on expectations of higher U.S. stocks, gold unchanged oil prices have eased a tad amid expectations of an increase in U.S. crude inventories, but signs of a fall in Iranian oil exports for October are limiting losses. Brent crude for December delivery has fallen 6 C, or minus 0.07%, to $80.72 per barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude for November delivery is down 14 C at $71.64 a barrel. U.S. crude stockpiles are forecasted to have risen last week for the fourth consecutive week, by about 1.1 m barrels, ahead of reports from the API. Data is due at 4.30 p.m. today, and the U.S. does EIA will be released at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time tomorrow. In the first two weeks of October, Iran has exported 1.33 MVPD of crude to countries including India, China and Turkey. That is down from 1.6 MBPD during the same period in September. Note, October exports are a sharp drop from the 2.5 MBPD in April before President Trump withdrew from a multilateral nuclear deal with Iran.
In May Trump ordered the reimposition of economic sanctions on the country. The sanctions will come into force on November. 4. Also supporting prices is today's comments from OPEC Secretary General Bark and Ohu said, global spare oil capacity was shrinking, adding, producers and companies should increase their production capacities and invest more to meet current demand. Ahead of the U.S. Open, gold prices are holding steady near yesterday's three-month high as a number of risk-averse investors seek refuge in the metal amid rising political tensions and economic uncertainty. Spot gold was little changed at $1,226.71 an ounce, it touched $1,233.26 yesterday, its highest print since mid-July, as global equities slid on rising tensions between the Saudis and the West. U.S. gold futures are flat at $1,230.40 an ounce. 3. German Bund yields edge higher a cautious, risk on mood currently prevails in Eurozone sovereign bond markets so far this morning, with yields of German Bunds and of other core Eurozone bonds up, and Italian Bond yields down. This would suggest that market risk sentiment may be improving following last week's sudden correction, but the balance remains a tad precarious in the current political environment. German 10-year bond yield has backed up 1.4 bits per second to 0.51%. Note, the 0.50% level in bond yields remains pivotal and with more debt product coming to market today, Germany offers 4 billion euros in the September 2020 dated shots, should be able to back up sovereign yields a tad more. Elsewhere, the yield on 10-year treasuries has backed up 1 bit per second to 3.17%, the highest in a week. In the UK, the 10-year gilt yield has decreased minus 1 bit per second to 1.603%, the lowest in almost two weeks, while in Italy, the 10-year BTP yield has declined minus 2 bits per second to 3.522%. 4. G7 currency pairs are little changed major currencies, euro, pound, and C-dollar are relatively unchanged ahead of the US Open. Dealers and investors have little technical or fundamental data to work with at current levels. In fact, the market is looking for guidance, which may come in the shape of the U.S. Treasury Forex report, which is likely to be released this week and where the U.S. could name China a currency manipulator. If the U.S. were to name China a currency manipulator, it would further pressure China on trade and add to the Sino-U.S. trade tensions. Your USD is flat at 1.1579 euros and other major currency pairs are not moving by much either. GBP USD is up slightly at 1.3163 pounds as leaders struck a conciliatory tone a day after Brexit negotiations broke down and USD JPY is up 0.3% at 112 yen and 7 cent elsewhere. The performance of several Petro Forex Nucked Rub has been held back due to various unique factors that have not translated into a growth boost for these currencies. The ruble has been driven by U.S. sanctions, and the Canadian dollar has been held back by NAFTA renegotiations. Try minus 0.20% at $5.7865 has retreated after seven days of gains after the country released U.S. Pastor Andrew Brunson on Friday. 5. UK wage growth fastest in a decade UK data this morning showed that wage growth quickened over the summer at the fastest pace in almost a decade, adding to signs of inflationary pressure. The on said that average weekly earnings in Britain, X bonuses, grew 3.1% in the three months through August. The figures will likely reinforce market expectations that the bow remains on course tighten monetary policy over the next 24 months to keep overall price growth in check, assuming the UK's exit from the EU goes well. Other data showed that UK unemployment in the three months through August was unchanged on the previous three months at 4%, while the number of people in work, 32.4M, remained close to its record high. Note, the BOE hiked interest rate in August and signaled that they expect to do so again two or more times over the next couple of years to bring inflation back to their 2% annual goal. 
a weaker pound since the Brexit referendum has to push up the price of imports, squeezing UK citizens' purchasing power.